How's it going guys? Hopefully you guys are gonna be seeing some more videos from this channel. I got a new phone, so that means I can actually upload videos now, edit and upload videos. So that'll be cool. Um, so yeah, here's the new build. If you guys are on Facebook, in our group, Horse Torque Mud Mowers, or on like the Off-Road Mud Mowers page or whatever, uh, you'll have already seen this thing. If you're on TikTok, you've already seen this thing. Uh, this is my beater tractor. So the big one that I just revealed, that thing ended up breaking on me, unfortunately, and I'm waiting on parts for it. Well, it's peak mud mower season here, so I just wanted to build something cheap and easy. So the, tra the actual tractor itself, I traded a few things that I got for free for it. So it's basically a free tractor. This brand new Duromax I paid 200 bucks for. All I needed was a pull cord. The original pull cord right there is broken. So I put a 420 pull cord on it. Uh, tires are 20 bucks. I believe the front fronts were 40 a while ago. Um, and the seat came on actually my 308 mud mower, if you guys remember that one. Um, other than that, a couple of pulleys that I already had. Um, it looks like that one slid out, so I should push that one back in. Um, and yeah, that's that's really it for this thing. Uh, it's a really decent little build. I'm happy with it so far. It's pretty rowdy. Um, so it's got extra tracks in the front. I don't even know what these are on the rear, um, but they are 22 10 12s. So that's pretty small. That's a small rear tire, uh, but I think it looks really good. It's got a nice fat tire look in the rear. Um, I don't think they look too small. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. The fenders have been lowered about an inch and a half. I messed up where I welded, and it actually is tilted that way a little bit. But it's a beater, so I really don't care. Probably my favorite part of this whole thing is the exhaust. It's got a hood exit exhaust, as you can see. I really like that with the uh, little stainless outlet piece. Um, pretty cool. Not a half bad little unit. It's a six to a four. Um, and honestly, it's really just a simple it's it's i like to say it's back to my original roots this is something i would have wanted to build or built back in the day when i first started this you know started this crazy shit out it's got dual clutch springs on it um it clutches very very nice um and yeah i mean that's pretty much that and for somebody somebody's gonna ask how i open the hood like that this hood latch is really sticky come on Hope you can see that it just slides over and then once i latch it in it kind of twists back in and it pops itself into place um and then the one problem that i did have to have is i had to weld this one because it was hitting originally but there you go pretty simple easy exhaust setup if any of you guys want and you can see see right when i go over it it's off it's off a little bit i can pop it over now you get a hood exit exhaust. Really cool. Um, really cool, simple little thing. I gotta figure out where the belt's rubbing. It is rubbing on something. I've looked through the whole thing. I can't find the spot, but you know, tomorrow if I blow the belt off of it, then I will have to check. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna probably keep the silver wheels. I like the look of it. I'm thinking I might end up going with a couple of uh, license plates. I might go buy some more license plates because I've cut up one of those old license plates, which I shouldn't have, but I might go get some more and you know, put it as mud guards or whatever. I think that'll be kind of cool. It's just a rat rod beater tractor build. Um, nothing crazy. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. Um, and uh, yeah, you guys should see a video of this thing romping pretty soon. Uh, I think we're gonna go riding tomorrow. I'll try and get some good video. Um, so yeah, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching.